Here's Richie and Gio. Oh, hello. Always lovely to have you on the show. Babe, it was a good night for you. I couldn't believe it. Honestly, I felt like all my Christmases had come up once. <laughs> I bet you did. Because I found it so hard last week in training the quick step. And even <laughs> on, was it Friday afternoon, I was still making mistakes. Saturday mistake. morning. Saturday morning, sorry. <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> it had been a long week. Uh, Saturday morning, I was still making mistakes. I was still going wrong. I was, when we were doing that kicking thing, I was kicking Geo by accident. <laughs> and luckily, on Saturday night, it all came together. I don't know how, but I'm not mad about it. And... It was just fantastic, wasn't it? And to get that feedback from the judges was incredible. And it was the polar opposite to week one as well, dance style-wise. Mm. Did, did you enjoy it? I did. And one thing that we worked on so hard in training was just curbing the enthusiasm. Because I get out there on the dance floor and I'm a bit like a kid at a disco. Listen, no one, no one is saying you're too excited or anything like that. It's just when the dance, isn't yeah. it? It's so hard because you have to pull stuff back when it comes down to dance. Well, Are you finding it hard? Well, that's what we worked on, didn't we, all week? Just trying to pull it back and, and less is almost more, isn't it? Adrenaline. You know, yeah. when, when you get on the dance floor, the adrenaline it goes a lot. Mm. And uh, with Richie, it's like even more. So we try all week to, you know, step back a little bit and concentrate a little bit more to what we have to do, really. Mm. And that's what you got doing ballroom. Yeah, and I'm talking nothing. of ballroom and, and Lassin, you know, these dances, Gio's first time you've been partnered with a male. Mm -hmm. How are you finding it? Because when it comes down to the leads, are you, are you getting a bit jealous thinking, oh, I've got to let Richie lead now? I actually, I actually enjoy it. I watched your back and I was like, in that girl position, I, I, I look good. You look good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing it. And I enjoyed it because, again, it just gave me an opportunity to, to squeeze my brain and make this kind of choreography mm. yeah. that make the, you know, bring the best of Richie, but at the same time, it's new for me. So I'm um, very, very pleased and privileged to be able to do it. So, well, lovely job. Well, it's working because a score of 32, 32 from the judges. Nine up from last week, I may I just add. Miracles, miracles. I know. Richie, I mean, did you ever in expect such an improvement in a way? I, I thought they'd mixed up my scores with someone else. <laughs> I thought they'd picked up the wrong paddles. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> and I didn't say anything. <laughs> No, I mean, that's the kind of thing you dream of. When you come on Strictly Come Dancing, I just want to get a little bit better every week. And even if it's 2 or 3% better, you're making steps forward. But to stand there in front of the judges and to get eight, yeah. like, I never thought that would happen to me in a month of Sundays on this show, so it was incredible. Mm. What's so lovely about it, mm. and I always think about this journey with the celebs and the pros, is that the public just fall in love with people. Mm. And we saw this, and we just wanted to share it with you. This is Gracie, who's age two. Take a look at this. Oh, this Grace. is her dancing on with you. She even got a little broom as a little Burst. plane. <laughs> oh, Gracie. I mean, Richie, you've been getting so much support. How much does that mean to you? It's, I'm blown away by it, honestly. And everybody who's been getting in touch, sending positive vibes and commenting, and people like, Gracie, you're amazing, Gracie. And just everybody supported us. It, it means the world. Like, I've never been in a dance studio before coming on this show. So even though I'm a bit of a show-off, to be out there on the dance floor, I still have a bit of anxiety. So to be getting all the love and all the comments and to know that I'm in this man's safe hands, it's just... I'm having the best time. Well, I'm glad I you're really having am. the best time. And you look like you were having it on yeah. Saturday because there was something Craig picked up on that cartwheel. <coughs> <laughs> no. That's right. OK. We don't need to talk about that. Are we, are we just... Are we skirting over part, the cartwheel? Yeah. Should we park it? Well, he said to me, if you've got any tricks, can you do the splits? I mean, look at me. <laughs> I can't do... If I get a down, I ain't getting back no. up. I can do a roly-poly, but that don't cut it on Strictly. And I I said I could do a, a cartwheel when I was about seven. And what were your words to me before we went out? Point your feet and straight your legs. I know, but you Did can't you have it? it all. No, but come on, I haven't done a beef ever. The music had started. Da, da, da. He didn't hear you. He didn't hear you. You won't know one notices, though. No, yeah, no one knows it's this one. <laughs> and listen, it doesn't matter because you're matter. through. You are through. And you're through to this week. You're going to be doing a samba yes. Yes. to this classic Lion King hit. Oh, this is brilliant. How's it going? What's happening? Iconic. That's what it's going to happen. Is mean, it? Listen, it's the first time of Strictly Come Dancing. We're going to be dressing as a Timon and Pumba. We're yeah. doing a... Um... I believe that's an exclusive, guys. Yes, it is. Our it exclusive. is. It is. It's a Kuna Matata. It's a samba. Again, it's a technical dance. Um, we're going to have fun with our mm. choreography, with our costumes, but at the same time, I want to give the judges a little bit of technique. Absolutely. We want to show improvement. Well, we, want to, we want to show rich improvement mm. every single week. So, yes, it's fun. Yes, it's going to be... But it's going to have the substance. It, I call it iconic. It means no worries. Oh, that, that's know? a bold so, statement. Oh, I'm telling you. Remember the pressure on me. No, that's OK. It's on <laughs> me, actually. I have to make the choreography. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think, again, it's samba. It's difficult. It's difficult. We mm. tried today a little bit, and... Um, 
Well, yeah. I was going to say it's early days, Richie. How are you finding it? It's well, very different. Growing up in Birmingham, we didn't do like samba. Really? I'm I sure. know. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> right. uh, so this is really new to me this week. It's a lot of hips. But it's one of those things where the foot's got to do one thing, the hip's got to do another. The oh, it's like 12 dances I mean, along the body. Just do it one thing at a time. I can do the feet and that's it. But you're going to enjoy it. I'm loving it already. I can't wait. I mean, it's good. Like, Gio wants to make it uh, technical and he pushes me so hard. Because I'm like, can we just do this? Can we cut this corner? But he won't Wait, let me. Gio's going to be dressed as a lion. We're all very happy. No, 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 no. Oh, you're the wall. I'm Pumba. Oh, you're Pumba. I'm Pumba. Oh, that's a whole different dream. Here's, exactly. here's Richie and Gio, everyone. Give a round of applause. Thank you for having we'll me. We'll talk after the show. Good luck, babe. Thank you so much. Uh, that is it for me tonight. I'm going to be back tomorrow with Matt and Nadia, James and Amy, Kim and Gratz, and of course, the rest of Choreography Corner with Joe. Clifton. I've got to say, I can't wait for this. I really can't. I'll see you tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs>